I glitch here, you glitch here, we all glitch here. And today I'm going to talk about the top 5 working glitches in GTA 5 Online. If you're new, subscribe. Make sure you have post notifications turned on, that really helps out the channel. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like. That being said, let's get straight into the video. The first one I'm going to show you is a new wall breach. I did not know about this one. For this one, you want to head over to this location right here. You want to jump on the bushes over here and you want to head over to this location right here, this spot. This is the only spot that lets you press R1 or right bumper. So you want to get onto the wall. You want to run this way all the way to the palm tree right here you want to get your gun out and you want to aim your gun and you want to make sure both feet are off as you notice one foot of mine is on it all right both of my feet are off that way you're going to run this way and notice you're going to get stuck right now you're going to press r1 or rb to get off and then you're just going to run as fast as possible uh, it didn't work that first time it's there's like a, this weird angle you got to hit to just start that thing again then head over here Yeah, it's like a weird angle, and that's what it looks like when you hit it. Now you're breached into the wall, and okay, don't do this for trolling, because you're gonna shoot out, right? But they can't shoot in. Yeah, do this to like evade the police, evade uh, griefers or something. But if you use this for trolling, people are gonna report you. So this is a pretty good wall breach, as you guys can tell. You can have the big view of the sky, so. Also, what else you can do is make sure you have parachutes. See bottom right, have two parachutes. You can also use this to explore, but don't crash into like, see that invisible thing over there? The tunnels, try to avoid that stuff. But notice you can explore here. Usually, um, when you go underneath the map like this, it will kill you. There's like death barriers, but this one is different. So notice you can just like explore or just like travel. I mean, this is a great way to actually avoid griefers because you can, wall bridge there and then just travel this way and <laughs> no wonder where are you you're underneath the map so yeah this is pretty cool but remember don't use this for trolling and notice see all you gotta do is aim all the way down and it teleports you back on top of the map on to the next one this one I'm gonna show you is how to make 3d modded paint all right and this is how you're gonna make the 3d paint So you want to go over to respray your primary you want to put the chrome okay, so if your car has a secondary put the secondary as chrome and from here you want to go to your crew so this is my crew color it's um a dark blue a deep blue so apply that one Also secondary. If you have it, apply it there. Go back to your primary. And right now you're gonna put a pearlescent. And pretty much experiment with colors here. It's whatever you like. And also experiment at the angle to see the pearlescent. See I'm just gonna scroll through them just so you can see them, but I know a color that I like already. It depends what you want it to look like because this is going to look so much different in the light so I'm going to pick the the red color so it's basically I mean look which one you want I want the this one because it has more color in it so select this one and from here just back out now look how different it's going to look depending on the light so right now it looks a little bit purple it changes colors in some light you're gonna see the blue some light you're gonna see a lot of the chrome right here see how it changed color when the light changes so it's like the dark spots are gonna change different the color see right there it turned blue right here see how, how the light affects it so much 
Yeah, this is something you experiment with. Uh, whatever crew color is you put is going to have a different effect. It's going to look different. So you got that. It looks purplish, even though it's red. Because you're mixing the red and the blue together, which makes purple. So it's going to have a, a unique effect on the pearlescence you use in the crew color. Some of the crew colors won't work that well, but this color looks, works pretty nice. On to the next one. The next one I'm going to show you is a brand new god mode. Very easy to do. So you want to be inside your jet and you want to make sure you get rid of all the missions. Get rid of this one. You want to make sure you have the open wheel and some lesser invites. So you're going to exit. Join the invite as quickly as possible. That time, I'm pretty sure I joined a Gerald mission. So the ones we know work are with the open wheel race. And as you notice in this video, the Gerald mission will also work. So yeah, I'm gonna launch right now in the Gerald mission. So other missions could work. I'm not sure which ones work, but we know the Gerald mission and the open wheel work so far. So once you fully load in the job, you wanna press circle to back out. That's all you need to do is load into a Gerald mission. And right now it's going to put you on the ground and now you need to accept one of the lesser invites. You have two different lesser invites you can accept. And I'm accepting the apartment invite because it's closer to the airport than the facility. You would use the facility invite if your facility is close to the, uh, the military base and if your hangar location is at the military base my hangar location is at the airport so i load into the apartment because that's the closest thing to the airport so once inside just exit the apartment once you're outside just uh, call a ceo buzzard Right now, you do not want to use any personal vehicles. That's why you're calling a CEO buzzard. Also, you might want to call in a ghost organization because you don't want no problems. Right now, make sure you don't use any personal vehicles because your personal vehicle is the jet. So I'm just going to fast forward. We're going to fly to the hangar right now. Once you get at the hangar, you want to make sure the jet is in God mode. So I'm just shooting at it with uh, um, the buzzard. I mean, you're going to be able to tell right away if it's in God mode or not. Just shooting a few more times. All right, okay, that should be enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in God mode right now. So after you are sure it's in God mode, all you gotta do is run up and get into it. And right now, I mean, you need to verify it's in God mode, even though you shot it. Still gonna check to make sure it's in God mode right now. So we're gonna verify it's in God mode. An easy way to do it is just like crash into the ground. Like what I'm about to do right now. And as you can tell, it's in God mode. And again, guys, do not use this for trolling. Use this in invite only session when you're playing with your friends to help each other out. Do not use this for trolling because people are going to report you. All right, on to the next one. And for this one, I'm going to show you how to get the green duffel bag. So for the duffel bag, you want to launch this job. It's going to be on your bookmarks. The, the green duffel bag. It's linked in the description. What you want to do is you want to click on the link, bookmark it, and then you need to close Grand Theft Auto completely and then relaunch and then it should appear in your bookmarks from here you want to invite your friend this part can be done with a random person it doesn't need to be your friend because it's very easy as soon as you load in it's basically done so um but for this the host is gonna get the closed duffel bag and the second person is gonna get the open one so if you want the open one your friend has to invite you so do what your friend and your friend bookmarks it. You can your friend can bookmark it at the end, but either way he has to restart the app. So okay, so it's gonna load you in glitch out like this. For me, for you it might look normal, but your friend might be glitched out and you might see his feet at the top of the screen. So it doesn't matter what it looks like, but as soon as you guys load in, it's you're gonna have the duffel bag on you. 
Also, before you begin this, make sure you have um, an earpiece. That is how you save it without losing anything. Like, if you change something else, you're going to lose um, whatever whatever you... Sometimes, like, because if I didn't use an earpiece, I would lose my helmet. So once you load in, go to your accessories, and press left D-pad one time at gear. Right here, earpiece. That's it. That's all it's going to do to save it. Your friend who's got the open one is going to do the same thing. And from there, you can quit. Your friend quits. It doesn't matter. And that's basically it. It should be saved. Now it's going to load you in a session. And sometimes it might load you in without a duffel bag. That's because it's invisible. It's still there. Find a new session. But okay, so right now to save it as an outfit, you need to fly over to the mass store. So if you don't have a flying vehicle, use a buzzard. But you want to crash the buzzard in the ocean so it doesn't give you a wanted level. So once you're high enough, you want to jump out. Open your parachutes. And you want to land at the mass store. Just hold uh, L1 and R1, right bumper, left bumper. That's the easy way to do it. That way you do it in slow motion. So you want to land and then spam our D-pad. This is the only way to save duffel bags. Now spam right D-pad. Let's keep spamming right D-pad. All right, so it might take off. It might look like something different, but don't worry about that. So from here, press square. Click save. Save it. Notice it. you don't have it on right now, but it's saved on the outfit. Notice the green duff bag saved. That's pretty much for this one. On to the next glitch. For this one, I'm going to show you how to get the police outfit or the noose outfit. All right, for this one, you want to launch the job. It's going to be in your bookmarks. It's going to look like this one. It's linked in the description. You want to bookmark it in the description and then close GTA and then reopen it and it should appear from here you want to launch it and about this one the host is gonna get the police outfit the second person is gonna get noose the difference on the outfits are one says police on it and one says noose so right now since I'm gonna be the host I'm gonna get the police outfit once you load in it's gonna look like this then you want to either invite a random person or your friend once your friend loans in, just launch it. It's going to maybe look glitch out like this. You're going to see all your feet. That's fine. Then you want to launch it. And once you load in, it's going to automatically switch you to the outfits. Right there. All I gotta do right now to save it is go to your styles, accessories, left D pad one time to get the earpiece. From here, all you gotta do is quit and it's saved. Your friend does the same thing, it doesn't matter who quits. And once you load in, you should still have the outfit. Right now you want to drive to a clothing store. Or you can go inside ammunition, whatever is close nearby to you. So you want to go somewhere, right? Press right D-pad to enter the outfits. From here, press square. Find one of your empty outfits. Press X. And now notice. Now you have the police outfit saved to your collection. If you guys enjoyed this kind of videos, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching and I am out.